Okay, here we have blind dating five guys based on their cars. I should let you know before we start this, my first car was a 2003 Honda Element. And it was my dad's car that he let me drive. I fucking love that car, I still love it to this day. My mom's car was a Scion XB. So I also drove that. So we were a fan of box cars. We were a fan of just the fucking eh, 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 eh. The, we, were, we drove cars that looked like a three-year-old child drew it. And now I drive an ice cream truck. So it actually kind of makes sense. So it all adds up, you know? All right, let's get into this. In this video, Katrina is going to blind date five guys based on their cars. Historically, chicks have always digged nice cars. Is this your car? Is this your car? Is this your car? But today, what kind of car will Katrina go for? Stick around. And I wonder when they're like, they're gonna run out of ideas. This is not Jubilee or Nectar. This is like a knockoff channel, but it's gonna be kind of funny when they're like, dating guys based on genetic diseases? Find out what diseases run in each guy's lineage, and the girl will pick based on that. Blind dating based on sweater lint? We took a lint roller to all these guys' sweaters. Find out which one she picks. Till the end of the video to find out. But first, let's meet our bachelorette. Um, I feel like I don't really have a type. I'm big on like vibes, just like how well we like this like conversation, like banter back and forth, like if our laughter is the same. Physically like tall, good. Laughter the same. I mean, I know what you meant, but it is kind of funny. He needs to have the same laugh as me. Imagine two people on a date. <laughs> One tells a joke. And so I said, that's not a camel. That's my wife. <laughs> you get it. I'm just picturing two sock puppets. It's curious that she said, uh, just based on vibes. I feel like I've never heard that before. It's an interesting choice, you know, just dating based on vibes. Never really heard that. People just looking out for a good vibe. It's crazy. Style. So what kind of car would we turn on? I don't like, honestly, like any, any nice car. I recently went out with somebody who drove a G-Wagon. So like that was nice. And it had red interior and like the LED lights. So, like that's nice. But I was in a Maserati recently and I only know that because of the name. Could never point it out, could never anything. So honestly, just the ones that I know the names. But what kind of car would be a turn off for? What about a 2003 Honda Element? Why, I didn't see you saying that. G-Wagon looks basically the same. It's, they're basically the same fucking car. That's what I, that's what I always said. It's my E-Wagon. That's what I'd call it, you know? Is that a burnt orange G-Wagon? Nay, my good sir, it's an E-Wagon. One of the most outdoorsy vehicles there is. Plastic innards, you can chuck anything in there and hose it down when you're done. It's better than a G-Wagon, in fact. You know when they're like miscolored like door handles or miscolored doors? I don't know if like a headlight was missing. Maybe like the car guy cars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The so poor. You don't want a guy that has no money. Just say that. Those are probably like a turn off because like then that's making me think that you're one of those people. People don't choose to have cars with di with different door colors. <laughs> people aren't like, you know what? Take that door off. Chuck the fucking blue one on there. Yeah, let's spice it up a little bit. Fucking smash one of the headlights. Yeah, fuck it up a little bit. Who race on the road? I'd be so embarrassed if I was in the car and you started racing somebody. What would it take? That I fucking agree with. Hate drag racers. Just dumb as fuck. Don't do it. I vibe with them behind the thing and then see them and then the vibe matches the person. But yeah, I don't know. I think that's it. All right, we go to what do we got here? I'm not seeing anything super boxy, which is a little bit of a disappointment. These all are nice. I kind of wanted them to chuck in like a shittier car. These all are like nice cars. Okay, they all kind of look the same low key, but yeah. I didn't know that Toyota made cars that look like that. They shouldn't. <laughs> okay, I'm Katrina. I'm from Seattle. I drive a mom car, but I love it. I don't want another car. I drive a 2013 Honda CRV. Oh my god, I thought she was gonna say element. Oh my god. Oh my god, I would have flipped my lid. See, how can she be demanding? She drives a CRV and she's looking for a guy with a nice car. It's a little bit of a double standard, is it not? Her name's Molly after the Tiger song. Contestant number one. My car's name was 
Kenneth Noisewater, I believe, from Anchorman. Yeah, my car's name was Dr. Kenneth Noisewater, which is a reference from Anchorman, which is how you know I have a fucking dope sense of humor. Guys, people tend to focus on material things when they are defining their own happiness. What do I have? Do I have things? Do I have a house? Do I have a car? Do I have a boat? I'm here to tell you today that that's the completely wrong way of looking at life. Okay, you know what really matters is having a website. And that's why I wanna thank this sponsor of today's video, which is Squarespace. Real meaningful happiness in life comes from selling products on your own online store. Now I know what you're thinking already, I can tell. You're thinking, Cody, my products aren't physical. They're digital products. How could I, I couldn't possibly sell them online, right? Wrong. With Squarespace, you can sell digital products, physical products, and even service products all in one place. Listen, whether you're a woodworker making spice racks, a fisherman selling Christmas trees, a DJ selling jars of your own farts, the list goes on. You can sell anything. So if you're interested in learning more and helping out this channel, just go to squarespace.com for a free trial. And then when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash Cody Co to save 10% on your first purchase of a website or a domain. Go get out there and get yourself a website. It'll make you happy. Introduce yourself, please. Hi, Katrina. Uh, my name is Hunter. Perfect that you drive a mom car because my car does not have back seats. I'm a little bit of a go-getter. Uh, I love to travel. Love that dude fucking drag races for sure. I hate him already. Love the sound of that. Okay. Okay, what kind of car do you drive? It is a 2020 Toyota Supra. Why do you choose to have a car with no back seat? Because uh, honestly, I just believe in one seat for me and one seat for my queen. Back seats are kind of overrated. Might as well just get like get it all done in the front seat, you know? Okay, cool. Contestant number two. Get it all done in the front seat? What does that mean? What about luggage? What about people? Just your friends are like, yo, can we get a ride? And you're like, I oh, mean, we gotta get it all done in the front seat then. Dude, I don't wanna sit on his lap, man. I can we, do you, you don't have back seats? No, I always say you gotta get it done in the front seat. That doesn't make any sense, man. What does that mean? Get it all done in the front. I don't wanna sit on his fucking lap. You gotta get it all, we heard you. Stop saying that. Two, please introduce yourself. All right, I'm Eric Ford. I like to play basketball, go snowboarding, and I drive a Audi A4 2012. Okay, A4, so it's a little older. Almost, I almost just said almost 10 years, but that is much more than 10 years. That's 12 years now that it's 2024. It's fucking, damn, dude, that sucks. I'm getting old. A Little bit of an older car here. Still a nice car, still a nice car. Older, probably has some problems, which I respect. Okay, okay. Testant number three, introduce yourself, please. How's it going, Katrina? Uh, my name's Justin. I remember you said you're from the Pacific Northwest. Let's go. Um, I'm from there. Um, I drive a 2014 Ford Mustang. Okay, I will say, I think this is a shitty car. I'm sorry. I know like Ford enjoyers are gonna come at me. Mustang heads are gonna come at my throat. I get it. My friend had this car in college and it fucking just, it just fell apart. Every like pla like just was bad, shitty shittily made plastic knobs would fucking fall off all the time. Shit just like would fall off. Would never ever happen with my Honda Element. Or I had a Mazda three in college. Never happened with that either. But this car would fucking fall apart. It was a piece of shit. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Maybe it was just his. I don't know. This is like a like Mustangs to me like a rental car. I've never actually rented one, but I see people like it just always seems like they're sitting in the rental lots. Okay, what part of the PNW are you from? Northern California. Oh, I'm from Reading. Oh no way, bro. Yes, sir. <laughs> Fuck yeah, let's dry gray sometimes, dude. Oh, Lake house up there. I know. <laughs> yeah, are they dating each other? Fuck yeah, bro. Let's go for a ride. Hit the lake sometime, brother. Okay, okay, they're, about, they're about to kiss back here. <laughs> the it sounds like it. Contestant number four. My name's Aaron. I drive a Tesla. I like to work out. I like traveling a lot. Love, love that. Do you use the self-driving on it? So I've I've been asked this a million times. The self-driving is cool and everything. I just like the pickup on it. I don't know if you've ever been in one. Like that thing will beat an Audi R8 right off the line. Like you'll feel it just zip right in the back. Um, I would personally just rather drive it than have the thing drive itself, but... Okay, yeah, I feel like that's a smart answer. I feel like the, the self-driving is kind of sketch sometimes. Number... Yeah, I'm not letting a freaking robot drive me around. Not my own car. I'd rather fucking drive it, beat any of these guys off the line. This is just a fucking big dick contest back there. That's what it is. Teslas are like, aren't they kind of shitty too? Like they're nice cars, I know that. I've just seen a lot of videos of them also kind of falling apart sometimes. I don't know, my mom had a Tesla for a long time. I liked it, I drove it. It really is fast and it's fun. And people love, people swear by them. So I don't know, better than a fucking Mustang. <laughs> Five, introduce yourself please. 
Hey Katrina, my name is Charlie. I drive a 2018 Audi RS3 and I um, want to get it off the bat. I'm faster than everyone here real quick. Just need to make that <laughs> wow. well known and assert my dominance. But uh, I know you'd look pretty in my front seat. So I just need to get that all out the way right now. Mm. Okay, nice. Rada, is that what that says yes, on your car? Did you put that on there? Yeah, so that uh, is actually a shop that helped build my car. I don't know, just repping the car shop is just a little... <laughs> I don't know. Hey, they uh, <laughs> they put a lot of parts in that car for free. I, I'm sponsored, so you know. Yeah, I gotta, yeah. No, I feel you. You gotta. The stickers off now. If it makes it, it makes you feel any different. Just saying. <laughs> okay. <laughs> if I. <laughs> That's kind of funny. You kind of got a little roasted there. Ripping the car shop, huh? Just driving around advertising for them or what's good? That's weird. All of these cars are too similar, man. They're like the same fucking color too, except for this one. Why are they all shades of gray? They couldn't have picked uh, like a little bit more of an eclectic collection of cars here where's the box representation where's the fucking fiat drop in the fucking oscar meyer wiener car up in that bitch who drives that someone does they're probably looking for a date i was a cop and i pulled you guys over what would you say or do to get out of the speeding ticket contestant number five you know, maybe try to be like, I wasn't going that fast. Or I might be like, you really want to see some speed. And I'd be like, just let me get- You need some parts for your whip? You should stop by Rada. They hook me up. Maybe they'll hook you up. Just saying. Just tell them, tell them I sent you. Don't give me a ticket though. Give you a ride real quick and then you don't need to give me a ticket because you understand like, car that fast, you can't drive slow. So you just got to go faster. Not at all. Oh. Ra -ra -ra. Okay, so you'd gaslight me. No, I, yeah, I would for sure give them a ticket. For sure. I'm running. <laughs> okay, number four. How would you get out of a speeding ticket if I was to pull you over? First of all, I don't, I've never been pulled over, oh. actually. I think I would just, you know, just be a good boy, just try and comply, try to not get in any trouble, not gaslight you. Okay, nice, nice, good answer. There's nothing wrong with gaslighting a cop. Agreed, but not when it's me. No, I think it's like a good thing that he hasn't been pulled over. I'm a good boy. Okay, number- Hey, safe driving is good driving. That's what they always say, right? That's what I always say. I'm a safe driver, because why not? The fuck is the point? I'm not afraid to hit the freaking accelerator, okay? I'll beat you off the line any day. Just saying, other than that, driving is the most dangerous thing you do every single day, guaranteed by a million percent. So why make it more dangerous than it has to be? Three, what would you do if I pulled you over? So if you were the cop that pulled me over a month ago, this would have been perfect. Cop pulls me over for going too fast. Um, oh good, we got a story here. Okay, cool. The speeder guy has a story, cool. Comes up to the window. He's like, you know how fast you're going? I'm like, sir, yes. I was trying to get home before my pizza gets cold. We're gonna be here a while, you want a slice? He loved it, started laughing. Hopefully you would do the same thing. I like that answer. I, I low-key, I low-key would let you get it. Okay, that wasn't as bad as I thought, as I thought it was going to be. I thought he was going to be like a fucking, Officer, I know my rights, okay? I know my fucking rights, and, and I'm aware of the Mustang bylaw. Get out of that one, for sure. What kind of pizza was it, though? Pepperoni mushroom. Gross. The mushroom Ooh. saved you. I might have to walk out because she likes mushrooms. <laughs> <laughs> That's the laugh you need to have in order to date her, because she wants the same laugh. <laughs> Okay, number two, what would you do if I pulled you over? Uh, I would say it's like two, three miles back, there was a guy that flashed a gun at me. I was trying to drive as fast as I could to get away from him, officer, I swear. Okay, I have to put that answer too. Cause it's like, who am I gonna tell you that that didn't happen to you, you know? Okay, number one, what would you do? I mean, if you were a cop, you'd be like, well, point me to that guy. The guy's just waving guns at people. That's way more illegal than what you were doing. So where's that guy? Point me towards him. Or does he not exist? I'm definitely gonna challenge you in rock, paper, scissors. Uh, loser has to pay the ticket. So proceed at your own risk. Okay, nice. Yeah, I think I would definitely let you pass that one because I don't think I want the smoke. I think I will eliminate contestant number five. Just because I just- Yeah, get him, get him out of there. That guy kinda. Kinda of sucks. I feel like we just weren't vibing. Hi, nice Hi, to meet you. Nice I love your you. hair. Thank you, thank you. So, what do you not like about being gaslit? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. He did not look like I thought he was gonna look. He kinda looks country. He's got the stash and like the little mullet. He kinda looks like a country boy. He should be driving a pickup truck, not a rara. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's just not like insanely my type. 
looks wise. Contestant number. He's not insanely my type. What the hell even is that? What is the freakiest thing that you have done in your car? It can't be like too much because there's no back seat. But what is the freakiest thing you've done in your front seat? Uh, I've definitely f in the front seat. Um, as you can and, uh, as I said before, make it happen in the front seat. He's probably got racing seats in there too, so it's probably just the most uncomfortable situation ever for both parties. Fucking big ass stick shift just up here. It's a metal post in the middle and then just hard ass racing seats and they're like trying to hook up. It's fucking pull. Why is your stick shift so big? And not, I'm not talking about your dick. Imagine there's not a lot of room, but I mean, we, we made it work. I believe it. I've done that too in the front seat, so I oh, believe it. Oh, perfect. Yeah. <laughs> okay, number two. So I kind of respect my Carlo too much, so I haven't done a lot. Um, I have gotten top in it though. Okay, is it because of the respect for the car? Yeah. Or other things? No, okay. yeah, I, I respect the car too much. I don't want to get all the, you know, <laughs> over it. <laughs> it. Yeah, it's like normal. It's like, I feel like everyone's done that. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. How do you respect your car that much? I get it. If you spend a lot of money on your car, you don't want to fuck it up. That makes sense. I'm just not really a material guy like that, you know? Just don't think about possessions and things. Think about sex and love. So number three, what is the freakiest thing that you have done in your car? I have, like, smoked the all a girl. Like, yeah, she taught me off. Why are all these guys? <laughs> why are these guys? I mean, I guess there's, like, no not douchey way to say that but why is it so yeah i guess i mean like there's no other way to say that but why does it just sound so douchey yeah i fucking got topped off in it i got topped off yeah i just got some a little bit of top in there got a little top i got a little top i she fucking dumped me off in there got a little domed off i got a little top in there i received some oral sex that's probably you know no that doesn't sound that good got some head that would have been better just got some top got a little top in there i smoke a blunt got a little top and i was driving also i like it it's it's a spruce up from answer number two he said got head while smoking which i kind of and driving not safe at all he's smoking a blunt getting topped off and driving fucking pull that guy over it's like nine crimes at once because yeah, this is song lyric so Contestant number four. Classic like inside leg grab, I think is probably like, the craziest thing I've done in there. <laughs> yeah, so I got, it got a little, there was zero room for Jesus. Is there like a reason, like? Is there a reason why you haven't been topped off in your car? Why you've received no top in your car? Is there a reason why zero top has been received in your car? Just cause it's newer, you just didn't want to. Leather seats, like I don't want anyone sticking to that. I just drove home faster and I was like, all right, let's build a little more tension. Okay, nice. I mean, she topped me off when I got home. She says I didn't get top in my car is what I'm saying. Contestant number one, what is your biggest red flag? I don't know. I'd probably care more about my car than you. No, I didn't like that answer. No, I feel like I would definitely want to be number one. So contestant number two, what is your biggest red flag? Well, I'm not on my phone a lot. So I normally take like a day to respond um, just because I prefer to live life to the fullest, like in person and not be on my screen. No, I f with that, because I'm literally the same way. Yeah, it'll literally take me like a day or three to like respond sometimes. Okay, contestant number three. Did I have mommy issues? Me too, brother. When did you leave, bro? When I was like eight. When I was three, dog. <laughs> These guys are gonna fuck each other. Fuck yeah, man. Should we go top each other off in our cars or what? The bonding. <laughs> Because having mommy issues isn't really like a red flag, but like, what do you do that stems from your mommy issues? That's a red flag. I'm attracted to girls with daddy issues. <laughs> I mean, I also have daddy issues, so. <laughs> oh. I've also dated a lot of guys with mommy issues, so. Contestant number four, what is your biggest red flag? There's gonna be definitely times where you just, no text back for like a month or two, because I'm just out like in the middle of like a different part of America. A month is crazy. Fucking driving, driving my whip, trying to find a charging station. Spend most of my time out in middle America just trying to find charging stations, charging my whip. Cause you're messaging somebody. Ooh. Ooh. Oh my gosh. I'll still like your Instagram pictures. <laughs> I'll put a fire emoji on a story every now and again. But not even a text back is crazy. What about a FaceTime? Oh, we can do FaceTime. Yeah, I just, no texting. I'll show you, I'll show you the cool things that I'm doing. Other women. <laughs> yeah. <for sure>. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, I knew instantly. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> the person I-
By the way, I know it's a fucked up thing to make fun of someone's laugh. I know that. It's a horrible thing. I'm not making fun of it. I think it's unique. It's kind of like, I have a fucked up laugh. I know that. I am eliminating is contestant number one. How's it going? Hi. Nice to meet you. Nice Hunter. to meet you, Katrina. You didn't like my answer or what? No, I didn't. <laughs> Why? I feel like I want to be number one and if I know- Why does this dude look like he's 12 years old? Your car is number one. Baby face. There's no- like that dude looks exactly like he drives that car. A thousand percent. This is a dude you see off the line or like at, the, at a stoplight. What am I saying? Off the line? <laughs> Like, I'm a fucking drag racer. You see him at the stoplight, and he, like, fucking eh, guns it off the line. You're like, I... Why? Why? Who are you racing right now? Why? What? Nothing? I, I have. I have. I'm looking right at it. <laughs> so I feel like that's just... That's just why. I'm just too... I'm just too needy. I just need to be number one. It's it's outside if you want to give me another chance. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I'll think about it. <laughs> That dude's gonna go fuck his car for sure. I'm gonna get topped off by my car. No, not the the not the most my type. Contestant number three. Where would you drive me on a first date? Oh, what kind of things you like to do? Uh, let's just say I like to go out to eat. Okay, what's your favorite kind of food? I like sushi. Sushi. So raw sushi. I don't know if you're an outdoors person, but lake day sounds fun. I don't know if I'd go to the lake with somebody on a first date. Cause you don't know them, you know? Okay, number... Why? What? What's so sacred about the lake? Two? Take you to a car meet, probably. You can walk around. It's a good environment just to get to know each other and talk. A car meet? No! No! I mean, I'm just judging because I'm not a car guy. I'm just judging. It, it, I guess that is a, I've been to those before, like I've just been around them and I feel like it is a good place to like, walk around and talk, but I just, I'm not a car guy, so I just don't really understand it. On a human level, I'm like, what? Why do people care? I don't care, but I understand why people, you know? Uh, maybe grab a drink, like some boba or something. It'd be pretty chill. I don't think I've ever gone on like a, a boba first date. It seems just a little middle schooly to me. Oh, that's great. Owned! Get wrecked! See? <laughs> <laughs> but the car meet though, that's the, that's the most important part. Okay, we're going on a car meet for our first date. Yeah, it's like a car meet, yeah. Okay, yeah, I love that. And okay. Not for boba? No, for... <laughs> <laughs> For Tesla, kind of want us to both do something that, um, or like see something go somewhere that neither of us have been yet. There is a place that just opened in Phoenix. It is a rooftop bar. Yeah, I definitely love going out for drinks. So that is love that. Perfect. And the planning, the planning, and not just asking me where I want to go. I think planning. He just said go out for drinks. That's he said go to a rooftop bar. That's not really planning. That's just. He just knew a location. That's just one location. I feel like car meet was a little bit more unique than that. She's like, nailed it. Drinks, nailed it. I love that. So does everyone. I think I am going to eliminate contestant number two. Just the, the boba and the car, what you said, car meet? So, but <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I super love that on a first date. Hi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. No, you're missing out. The car meets are fun. What's fun about them? I um, mean, you just get to go see a cool, bunch of cool cars, walk around, and it's a good environment to. Like, what if I'm not into? But I'm into it, so around. like, you know, what I'm saying. Oh, okay, okay. Do something I like, and then you do something you like. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Doing something you like on a first date, love that. Nice, nice to meet you too. Uh, he seemed like a nice guy. What the hell? He seemed like a nice guy. He's the most looking out of my type from what I've seen. All right, based off of some of the questions that you know we went over, um, we talked about drinking, we talked about this, we talked about that. Feel like you definitely have like a club personality? I definitely do. I honestly love clubbing and going out. Her, really? No, what? For sure. I'm a big music festival guy. Love music festivals. Which ones are your favorites? I like dubstep, personally. Um, I know that's not a lot of people's- What's wrong with dubstep? How old are these people? I feel like they're fucking young. You have to be young to be, to say I'm a big music festival person. That is a 20 year old thing to say. To think that that makes you stand out in any way is so funny. Yeah, I know it's a little like off the beaten path, but I'm a music festival guy. No shit, music festivals? What is that? I've never even heard of that. Chase, what about you? What kind of music do you like? I like like R and B and like rap. So I love like Rolling Loud. Oh, like cool. that's my favorite festival. We were talking about the red flags earlier too, and I was like, one that like I've been called out to is like when I started actually liking a girl like a lot, like. I get, I definitely get like clingy. Like that's definitely one I've been called out on before. I think some have called it controlling. I 
personally prefer a little more protective. Okay, what's like the furthest you've gone for like your protectiveness? The biggest ones are probably like, hey, like I just don't want you like going to this and like that. Like, I mean, the classic joke right now is the like girls Miami trip. I'd be like, all right, I don't know if I trust that one or not. How do you show affection in a relationship? I'm a very touchy person. For like walking around and about, I want to hold your hand. Touchy person. <laughs> I am handsy, let me tell you. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I know what he means. That's a horrible way to describe it. I'm a very handsy person. I'm a very touchy person. I like to touch. Like in the car, I like grab your leg, like that kind of stuff. I'm a very, honestly, no. Yeah, at the club or some shit, I think that I don't like that. So if I kissed you in the club, you'd reject me? No, but like tongue down your throat, macking on you. I, I, I'm not gonna do that in the middle of the club, you know? So what, what about you? Yeah, I'm definitely pretty touchy. I like like to like touch low key at like all time. I don't know. Earlier I said I'm pretty clingy, so I feel like guys don't get like a lot of compliments. So I love like complimenting like my man. The Miami trip, like, do you just you wouldn't trust me, or you? What about the Miami trip, or do not? Like, I mean, the classic one that like you see, it's like it's like, hey, like my friend, she's we're planning a girls trip to like Miami. Oh, now like one. This is just not going well for either of these dudes. There's nothing happening here. There's zero chemistry. They're both fucking it up royally. Girl's boyfriend has like 10 guys. I'd be like, all right, that's that's a bit too much for me. But like, if you were just going on like a normal trip, I don't think that'd be like insane. I have gone to Miami multiple times, and I was in a relationship two of the times that I've gone. Um, yeah. <laughs> Um, <laughs> and she's like, uh, that laugh is not the same as mine, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah, no, Miami's, Miami's cool. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking laugh. It's making me laugh. <laughs> what if, what if somehow I did, will not convince you to let me go, because honestly, I'm the type to just go. So what if I told you, like, we're going on a yacht? Oh, whose yacht, dude? What? We didn't. <laughs> okay, this is fucking boring, dude. It's not about the cars anymore. I wanted to make it about the cars. Who's she gonna pick? What is one thing you guys want me to know about you guys before I make my decision? Overall, if you get one vibe from me, it's I feel like I'm pretty easy going. I'm just trying to have fun. Um, good drinking, buddy. Mustang, what is one thing you'd want me to know about you before I make my decision? Um, if you decide that you do want to let me take you on a date, I'll make sure that you won't stop laughing. I'm funny. I feel like they just both made this harder. <laughs> both of them were good answers. The person I am eliminating is, I think, the Mustang. Uh, the dubstep, not a big liker, and then I think the drinking buddy one just kind of won. But hi, nice to meet you. You don't like dubstep? dubstep? No. No? Uh, <laughs> no, I like okay. music with words. Okay, yeah. fair enough, no robot music. Looks wise, not like the most my type. She's pretty. Not the prettiest I've seen. Oh God, ugh. Oh. Ugh, oh, fuck. <laughs> okay, so the winner is the Tesla. <laughs> the shirt, the shirt is so bad, man. I'm sure she's gonna turn around and see the shirt and be like, ah, fuck. <laughs> Why did I go for the Tesla guy? It's a fucking Tesla! No, I'm kidding, I'm judging. Hi! Hey, how are you? Good, how are you? Doing good. good. Um, yeah, you should have picked the last guy. Um, <laughs> what do I ask now? Do I get your number or I don't know how this works? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> uh, this is awkward. Ah, this is uncomfortable. It's fuck. Holy shit. What a horrible way to end this. I gotta get your phone. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think I was gonna win. Um, his shirt matches my nails, kind of. She's cool. I like her. Okay, we're both Asian, so. I didn't. I couldn't tell that actually. We can do. We can do Instagrams or phone numbers. Yeah, you can have my Instagram. Sounds good. Oh, oh, man. She's super into him, seems. Okay, that was, holy fuck, what a train wreck that was. Okay, um, guys, next time, please add some, add some other cars in there, like some Hondas or some Elements or some Scion XBs. There's a lot of potential in this idea, to be honest. Like, what if there's a fucking hot rod in there and you're like, what the fuck? Is that dude 50 behind the curtain? Who knows? Just a semi truck. Like, okay, whoa. Helicopter. Toss in some other vehicles in there. That was a little basic. Still had fun though. And who let me do that? That's the real question. Goodbye.
Walking let down your car, run your car. 